Hello and welcome my name is Amul and you are watching TapTube. In this video I am going to show you how to download and install WordPress locally on Ubuntu operating system. So this is Ubuntu 16.04. This should work on Ubuntu 16.0 16.10 uh, and 17.04 and 10 as well. May work on 15.10 and 14.04 and 10 as well. So it's going to be a quick installation guide and to install WordPress on your Ubuntu operating system you have to have LAMP. There are other options as well. So to get LAMP on your Ubuntu it's going to be very simple. It's just one line command. Okay and this is going to be available for Ubuntu 10.04 and above. So awesome. Quickly go ahead and launch your terminal and here it is mine. Okay, uh, so first of all we need to update the operating system. This is going to be very quick and this is to update my operating system. Enter your root password and this may take a bit longer on your system. Mine is uh, up to date. Now this is the for lamp stack okay so make sure you type it correct type it correctly and I'm going to make sure that you can see it so sudo apt hyphen get install space lamp dash server do not forget this carrot sign this is what it says mind the carrot at the end okay so that's part of this command once you hit enter it's going to ask for mysql password so choose a password and then you have to confirm it all the configuration lamp configuration on ubuntu will be automatically done so you don't have to worry about that okay so once it's done i uh, will go ahead and quickly download the wordpress i will leave this link for reference in the description area okay so i'm going to quickly download the WordPress so, so at the moment it's going to be WordPress 4.8.3 however uh, you can whenever you go ahead and follow this link I'm going to copy this one okay this is going to be like latest edition all the time so if you go ahead and copy this link so uh, we will get in the root directory of Apache and then download the WordPress latest WordPress so to get simply go ahead and type sudo if you're not logged in and then cd bar I guess www then html press enter and uh, then you have to enter the password you are still logged in as a, a user not as, as a root user okay so then we will go ahead and Oh, what happened okay so I did not get in here so bar you don't need sudo to change the directories okay www HTML and then now you are in the HTML directory now here let me clean this screen here and now you simply type sudo w get and then the the URL okay so here it is so it's very simple you don't have to go to wordpress.org you simply type this one https colon forward slash forward slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot g z okay and then press enter it's connecting and now it's downloading this file latest tar gz shouldn't take long time I will leave this link in the description area as well and it's done so now you can check what files and folders you have so right now you have got index.html and latest.tar.gz this is another folder that I have created now let's go ahead and quickly unzip this tar file so to unzip it simply sudo and type x v f z and then latest 
dot t a r dot g z okay and then press enter okay so what I did basically I forgot t a r here okay so sudo <laughs> it's a tar command okay unzip it so now it's unzipped now if you go ahead and check everything here you've got index dot html latest dot tar dot gz wordpress and wp so let's check the rights on these folders and files okay so you can see uh there are okay these these are not visible okay so these are files and folder this is a file html file these are uh, this is also a tar and these are directories the directory so this is what we just unzipped okay so nobody has rights to like write and execute and read it okay so we will go ahead and give it a right so simply go ahead and type here okay let me clear it so type su do and then uh, what do you say basically you say change honor right w o w sorry change honor o w n so then you have to say www hyphen data dot www hyphen data and the then the folder name so wordpress and then press enter and it's done now let's go ahead and check the rights on these files and folders so you can see now you can it can be okay you can write read execute okay now let's go ahead and quickly create a database so now if you go ahead and launch the wordpress on localhost the folder name wordpress here it is it will ask for the database name username password and database host table pre prefix as well and let's go ahead and create it so quickly go ahead and launch your mysql we are going to give you a username that's a root and a password as well so enter the password i have a password for mysql and i'm pretty sure you have chosen one so we will check the databases first show databases and so these are the databases available let's go ahead and create a database so database create a database i'm going to be wordpress it's going to be WordPress the name of the database and it's created now let's go ahead and check the databases again so this is what we just created WordPress optional thing if you want to create a dedicated user for your database you can do that but my root for this um, MySQL username and password will do everything so let's go ahead and use the database name that is WordPress username is going to be root i have a password for user uh, root user so it's going to be open to localhost is going to be database host prefix i'm going to change it to all uh, and then submit it run the install and shouldn't take long time quickly go ahead and so wordpress type the name of the site website and okay on Ubuntu alrighty so that's going to be name okay uh, I would highly suggest you pick a very unique name and a password and a fake email address you should use your own personal email address this is just for demonstration now check the discourage search engine from indexing this website basically unless you have uploaded all the content and you are happy with everything only then you should uncheck it from the settings okay now let's go ahead and click install wordpress and it's going to ask you to log in hopefully here we go and just click login here so this is the username and the password i'm going to check this box to be remembered and login so this is 
WordPress on Ubuntu locally installed okay so here we go now to in case if you want to check go ahead and right click and open in a new tab and this is what it looks like in case if you want to change the theme go to appearance and go to themes select one activate one of the installed ones otherwise go ahead and add a new one you can search with popular popularity latest and featured as well so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel and have a good day bye for now